parasites. To most people, they're simply revolting. Gut worms came out of somebody. It's about five or six different worms. Even the word parasite is an insult. How disgusting do you find that on a scale of one to ten? Disgusting they may be. But I think they're also truly extraordinary. They have astonishing life cycles. And they are some of the most successful creatures on the planet. To find out more about these amazing animals, I'm going to deliberately infest myself with a range of parasites. It's like jumping over a cliff. Here we go. From the largest to the most deadly. By becoming a host, I'm hoping to discover how the human body, this body, responds to parasite infection. I'm going to use my infestations to study firsthand our complex relationship with parasites. Ah! Experience the costs and potential benefits of being infested. And even find out what they can tell us about our own origins. My first of many encounters with parasites starts here in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm in search of an extraordinary human parasite, one which has been all but eliminated in the developed world. Now, most tourists come to Kenya in search of wildlife. Just down the road from here, you can go to a safari park where you will see rhino and giraffes. I, however, have come in search of something smaller and much less attractive, tapeworm. The tapeworm is one of nature's most successful parasites. There are thousands of different species of tapeworm, each adapted to a particular host. The one I'm looking for is Tinea saginata the beef tapeworm. It's evolved to live in our guts, but its peculiar life cycle also involves cattle. So imagine you're in rural Kenya and you've got a great big tapeworm inside you. This tapeworm is producing eggs. One day you go down to a field and you excrete there and you contaminate the grass. Then along comes a poor, unfortunate cow who eats that grass. 